Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. I have a delicious Asian meal for you that is gonna, what again, knock your family socks off and your friends. So watch this video and find out how you can make Asian food yourself and you don't have to go out and buy it at a grocery store, you don't have to go to a restaurant to get it, and please don't go to the freezer aisle to eat Asian food at your grocery store. So check out this episode. These are soba noodles. They can be found in the Asian section of your grocery store and they are tasty. They are made with sweet potato flour and buckwheat flour. They are far superior than a rice noodle in nutrition, so try to get these. We are gonna cook these noodles and then rinse them with cold water. Keep an eye on them. Sometimes they seem to cook quicker than a regular noodle. While our noodles are cooling in the fridge, let's cut our onions. We have four scallions. Let's get those all sliced up and looking yummy. Frozen edamame. We are going to put this whole bag in here because these are just packed full of protein. So whole bag of frozen edamame. Find that in your freezer section. On to our peppers. I'm cutting up three to four mini peppers. You can use regular peppers if you would like. I'm just using mini. I'm also going to cut these sideways too, one cut, easier to bite. Okay, here is the big time saver. This is a bag of already cut up kale, cabbage, and some broccoli stems and carrots. Big time saver, put that in. I think this one I got at Target. Here's my favorite soy sauce again. Now the sesame seeds, when you first buy a bottle, get kind of up at the top and like to float just shake it really good you got to shake it a ton the first couple times you use it get those sesame seeds all around you can buy this down below just click the link and you can get this amazing secret weapon all right we're pouring one cup of our soy sauce into a bowl and then we're going to add to that a scoop of peanut butter this is optional i just love peanut butter in soy sauce and i also like to put in cilantro now we're going to stir this up first before we get the cilantro in there it's hard sometimes to get that peanut butter all stirred up and blended into the soy sauce so really work it in there all right now that that's all worked in there let's get about a big handful of cilantro chopped up and then we're gonna put that also into our soy sauce. And we're gonna let that sit for a bit so that all those flavors blend together. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Well, I just so happen to have some of those halo oranges sitting around. So I'm gonna put some of these in here. So I'm Now, if I was working at a restaurant, I would end up sectioning these, but I don't work at a restaurant. These are for my family, so I'm just gonna slice them just like this, and then I'm gonna break them apart, and I'm gonna throw them in with my vegetables. Add a nice, sweet punch. Then with the other two halo oranges, I'm just gonna squeeze those into my soy sauce. I kinda thought it was a little thick, so I wanted it to loosen up a little bit and coat my noodles better. So I thought, well, shoot, I'm not gonna put water in there. Why not some sort of juice? Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Time to put our cold soba noodles in and add your amazing sauce that you let sit for a good 30 minutes before adding to it. Now we're just gonna stir this up. If you ever watched one of my episodes with uh, making red sauce. These kind of noodles don't exactly hold all these vegetables well, but soba noodles you can't get in a wider noodle. This is how they come. So some of your veggies may just sink down to the bottom. That's okay. You just make sure everybody gets some on their plate. Okay, it's time to try it. 
Oh, it looks so good. They look kind of chocolatey, huh? They're not. Hey, there I am. Let's see. Oh, I'm really liking it. Oh man, that's good. That's good stuff. While your salad is cooling in the fridge some more, we are gonna do the tuna steaks. Let's get some soy sauce on these and let's let them sit for 15 minutes in the soy sauce. Then we are going to sear them. While they are marinating in the soy sauce, we are going to peel some cucumber. Now, we are just gonna take part of the, the peel off, not all of it, it looks pretty, and there's nutrition in there. But it's kind of tough having all of it on there, if you ask me. Now we're gonna slice these at an angle. Why? Because there's more space to put stuff on when they're at an angle. That's the only reason. They are kind of pretty that way too. All right, our steaks have marinated. It's time to put them down on a very hot pan. We're talking like medium high to high heat. You wanna cook them 30 seconds to one minute on each side. It really depends on if you like them really raw inside, which my family loves them raw. Then after searing both sides, then you can sear the end cuts. And just, you know, 20 seconds, just a little, little something. You can also, after these have marinated, you can dip them in sesame seeds. Oh, they're so tasty in sesame seeds also. You'll want to cut these against the grain after they have cooled about five or 10 minutes. Look at how beautiful that is inside. These are perfect for my family and it's up to you how you want them cut. See that dark part? That's soy sauce. Don't be frightened by that. Now it is time to plate this up and make it beautiful. So put your cucumbers in a nice, you know, plate, make it pretty. Put on your pieces of sushi. Then you're going to add cream cheese on top. Just a dollop on each one will do. Now we are going to sprinkle with our secret sauce. I didn't put enough on we had to put extra on at the table. So put a little more on than what you see me doing here. Then we are going to finely chop part of a green onion, and then you see I have another small handful of cilantro. We are gonna sprinkle this all over, and oh my goodness, it is gonna be so, so delicious. You are gonna love this, and you will be impressing your friends too. Wow, that's impressive. My kids come home from work, they're lifeguards, and guess who comes with them? Four more beach lifeguards, all starving. Okay, so here's the thing. Do I hide my food? Does Kathy Cooks for You hide food from people? No, I had to get it out and share it all and watch all my seared ahi tuna get gobbled up by these, you know, 20 year old kids. And that's fine. I got a few pieces, my husband got a few pieces. The point is, is that Kathy cooks for you. Maybe Thank I you so much for watching this episode. Please subscribe to my channel below. Click the red button that says subscribe. Give me a thumbs up and send me a comment. I would love to hear from you.